Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome! As you guys can tell by my voice, I am still sick. Um, probably losing my voice as well, just to make these videos that much funner. And I went away on a 16-day hiatus to get married, and then go on a honeymoon and travel up and down the west. Not up and down. Travel the west coast from San Francisco to Las Vegas. And then I got sick and a birthday and Thanksgiving. So it's been literally like 20 days since I've last played this. So it's gonna be a little bit rough. I'm trying to relearn some of the keys and understand exactly what's going on again. So uh, just pardon me on that one, guys. Just give me a little bit of a break. Give me like one episode to get kind of back into this. If I remember correctly, we did everything in that town and now it's kind of like to go try and meet this guy who's recruiting people. Um, more of an anarchist kind of guy. Um, hopefully I don't lose my voice literally before well, the end of this hello. episode. Hello. And welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. Okay. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. That's cool. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Can you ask me to take a pamphlet without realizing you're out of pamphlets? Are there that many people that it's like super muscle memory that you have pamphlets? Um, who are the icons? Why, we're Hold the that. only free people in Halcyon. Are you no really free? No shackles, no problems. I mean, the uh, people over on the other planet, which I kind of freed, are free also, but that's a problem. What about wrapped on some marauders? Um, oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. It is all about mentality. To stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. See, I just moved myself in the bottom right hand corner thinking, uh, why am I covering that UI stuff? But now I remember why. So I don't cover all the conversation options and stuff over here. It's like, do you want to see what we're talking about? Or do you want to see my UI a little bit where my skills are? So we're covering back up the skills. My bad on this one. Um, as long as you keep it one big happy family, huh? They're just looking for work. Uh -huh. um, one big happy That's family. That's a nice huh? way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Seems kind of cultish. Tell me more Why, about he's Graham. Our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. The eternal truth? I've got a dude here who's probably kind of looking into that one. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable Badass. to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. It's nice. Um, looking for... Where can I find Graham's them? place is in the large building straight back. Thora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Why are you here and not in Stellar Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Rising from the ashes, you say? One sec. Okay, I had to figure out what we were doing for dinner, and we're ordering buffalo chicken calzones for dinner because I don't feel like cooking. I can't talk. My voice is getting worse and worse, so hopefully it can last us 20 minutes, guys. Hey, got it. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Okay, thank you. What is this little settlement they have here? Because, I mean, there's probably a lot of them. They actually have a nice little town set up here. Looks, what is this, supplies? 
Revolutionary. That's considered stealing. Anything really good back here? No, no, no. Being able to see what's in these things is super All nice I'm now. Is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur. I like their armor and their look of it too. It's like what I have on my guy right now. It's like oddly, I kind of look like one of them. Oh, what's on your machine here? Uh, my machine gun mark two. Oh, something under my mouse it won't move properly. 33, 33, 14, 14, 14. If I remember correctly, which I probably don't, I'm not really that good. Fun. I, I'm just a mess, guys. I'm just endless tickles in my throat, losing my voice. Like I said, this episode's gonna be really, really rough, guys, and I don't even know why I'm recording it. I've got tons of videos backed up where I, I should be unsick at some point, but I, I want to play something. Being sick and not being able to play something because you need to record everything. One of those hardships of, uh, Making YouTube videos and stuff. Um, I mean, I guess I'm just supposed to be exploring here and talking to people, right? I don't think he can hear you. He's in the zone. The trash cube zone. Fucking weird, Colonel. They're convenient. Fit together real nice. Trash. You meditate today? I don't care where she's not. You should. I guess. Move along. Move along. Okay, we'll do. Wasn't me. I didn't steal your carbine. You had hidden back here. I don't know why the heck it's hidden back there, but it is. What happened to you? Ow! Ow! <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying my best not to cough and everything. Okay, so these power cables lead to that thing. From that thing? Got it and touched it. Don't know if I should have touched it. Um, what if they were using that inside and I just fucked something up? This armor itches something awful. That's unfortunate. Mine doesn't itch at all. You should maybe get that looked at. Get a whiff of that sweet. Huh. Never seen Ooh. you before. Um, I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Interesting. Uh, what's your story? Pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. Doesn't seem like you mind your own business. The only thing I got to teach is get the fuck off T1. Or whatever they're calling it this week. Anybody with half a brain could tell you that. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. Oh, I would love for you to dance. Um. Um, uh, sure. I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so I reckon one of the most interesting Bottom places drink. I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? Um, intelligence. I can make a guess the hottest place on Mars, probably closest to Olympus. Exactly. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high the peaks are in space. Pretty crazy. There's no air, how'd you survive? It's, oh, it's hot, it's high, and there's no air, huh? Much use though. Oh, two breathers. The heat from Olympus is worse though. Close your eyes, you can see rays bursting through your eyeballs. Little streaks of light. The funny thing is, dead in the middle, there's just smooth rock. Circular like. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair fine cracks all over. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. But I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment. Put my ear to the ground. And... I wonder now if I imagined it. The trick of the air. The heat. It was at the edge of hearing. Deep down. Far off. Irregular. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. 
Hmm. Mm, that's fucking terrible. There is a ground quake now. I hold my breath. Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity or wings getting stretched. Interesting story. Um, I don't wonder if there's something to this planet now. A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Might be the guys I killed. That's the reason they got themselves eight. Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. You want mementos, photographs, or if there's still a lot, can find them. All right, one long box coming right up. Thereabouts. I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. Mm. All right. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking out posts on your map. We you spent a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. I killed all your friends, There's a key dude. for the door. Literally all of them. I guarantee you that's the door I couldn't get into. If you Make got sure. In your mind that I want company, you're wrong. Nothing on this move. Okay, so good news is I didn't just kill all of his oh, friends or his Noah yet. Next. Hmm, so I couldn't talk to that person. Yeah, 33, 33, 14, 14, 53. Um, leadership, leadership. 53, I need to do a checkup on what everyone's wearing. 52, 48, 140. I'm rocking 37, but I like 37. I'm long gun stuff, so I will buy. How much is that? 900? I have 18,000? Sure. Screw it. And I will give that to Vitkar. This is definitely the lower one at 41, right? <clears throat> Looking like a badass there, buddy. So now they're both even ish. Steal, steal, steal. I don't really feel like stealing any of these stuffs from these guys. So there's just no no need to do it. Um Hard written list of receipts, one stands out from the rest, wrapped in our brains, clean and boil brains, let dry, preferably under a spore tree, season with sugar, AC, nutmeg, paprika, boil, and filter, ladle of petrol blood, soak brains overnight, cook 15 minutes, fire, okay, sounds delicious if you're into that kind of thing, I guess, no one can see me here, right, still the magpex. I need them. They're kind of expensive. I don't like buying them. So I just steal them all. One. No. Do I have to sneeze? I might have to sneeze. I don't know. Is there going to sneeze, everyone? Nope. Wished it away. We're good. Um, the vermin. Stimulution. Get a whiff of that sweet sulfur air. What he saw, there's no one hiding in here, right? So it should be good. Loot all of this stuff. Easy peasy. Squeeze. Is what we're going with this time. Oh, I didn't even read what the hell that was a key card to. Damn it. Does it really matter what it's a key card to? I'm sure I'll find a door somewhere that I can't open that I could now open. It'll say use key card. Um, I already go in here. Wait, it's the new guy and his locked console. Um, sure, we'll talk to you. I don't have time for this. What do you mean you don't have time for this? Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? 
Um, it's Captain Digfig. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. Oh, you Tucker. Join the iconoclasts. Help us free this world. Um. I am not a little boy. Haven't true, been one not. for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. Was not expecting a grown ass man from this decision. quest. You made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. 42 years I'm old. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. That's I won't nuts. stand for it, I tell you. Yeah, did you be free? Um, running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you're grown up. Um, yeah, that's probably the best option because it's like she's she just gonna keep sending see me people. As anything other than her baby boy? Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Um, you survived outside Stellar Bay for weeks. Uh, show her the skills you have learned. Each other learning philosophies convert her so she might join you in freedom. Fuck that. Let's go with number one. You're right. Do not want to bring that girl here on him. Dude I just need, need some to stand space. my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Sweet. Solve that all peacefully and stuff. Do I even try to read this while I'm super sick? You work orders. How much reading is it? Because I'm like losing my voice. Oh crap. What did I do? What? Remotely reset the room song. We ain't heard from Rep's house in a while. Sent Miller over. Ain't heard from him either. Seems we need to check it out. Work order has been resolved. Um, description, haha, ha, hey, Zard, I figured out how to add work orders. Did I eat it? Well, let's erase that work order. A medieval examine door sealed. The door in the examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck and is completely sealed. Can someone open it for me? Engage? Sure. Well, I just did that guy's entire job. I did not read that first one because I had no idea what I was doing. Touche. Maybe I should focus a little bit more on what I am doing. It's a named helmet or anything in here. It's just, just like normal garbage. Anti-riot here? Fuck it. Steal and shit. No reason. I'm not a good person, everyone. I just pretend to be. And then I rob, steal, and pillage everyone. <laughs> Can't do that maniacal laugh ah, thing. Hello. Good to see you again. <laughs> no, nice to see you again, too. You made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. I know, right? The door that was open. How are you holding well, up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Somewhere Whatever under your ankle. Is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back Whoops, and dropped my wedding ring. I fidget with it. I take it off. Spin it, I put it back on. New fidget toy, it happens. Um without the kicking. Huh? Why? Come on, girl. Your leg. Oh, ha. You're funny. I'm trying to be funny, but it's missed on you. How'd you hurt your leg? Uh, I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually you can just get away from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up black good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. There's your iconoclast theory of chaos in action. Mister, I don't know what chaos is, but rocks ain't got theories. They're rocks. 
Oh, you so smart, girl. How long you on commission for? Hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be Such fine a simple life. So. Sorry to hear that. See you around, girl. Oh, help. Totally meant to hit four, but I hit five. But it seemed to have done the right option either way. Whatever, I guess. Um... I think we're out of time for this episode, guys, because I did just put a poll up. You guys give some idea of when I'm recording this. And the poll was really mixed between 20 and 40 minutes. Um, I do have some hour-long episodes of some other things recorded, which I might break into halves at least. We'll see. But I think I'll go back to the 20 minutes to 40 minute uh, kind of thing. Maybe mix it up here and there, depending on where we are. But this seems like a good time to end it anyways. So I really do appreciate you sticking by, dealing with my kind of like refiguring out the game because it's been like 21 days since I last played it. Dealing with my loss of voice, my sickness, my coughs, all of it. You guys are absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate it. And if you like this video appearing above me here, there should be a playlist with a whole bunch of more episodes of this series on it. And you can check out my channel for more Let's Plays and other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Dig fig out!